Welcome to Beauty Rider Roundup. Today I'm joined by the lovely Liz and we are going to be talking about pheromone perfumes. So, pheromone perfumes, I'm going to say it straight up, they're kind of fake, right? They're not necessarily real. The idea is that all mammals, Mm -hmm. allegedly, put out like their own kind of unique smell that attracts a mate. Mm -hmm. If you're wearing a pheromone perfume, maybe you'll attract a mate more easily. Now... The complicating factor here is that like we don't really know that humans definitely have pheromones like we're mm. kind of making a couple of assumptions there and like a do you want to smell like another human probably not b we can source it from other sources but like do you want to smell like a pig probably not really either <laughs> no thank you so then you're kind of looking for like pheromone perfumes being things that are like maybe are going to replicate musks mm. um which come from the animal world or things that are just going to make your skin smell like your skin but better basically so you're kind of like emitting your own natural scent but elevated yeah because i feel like when i first heard of pheromone perfumes i don't know if about anyone else but i was thinking like anchorman i was just thinking like the anchorman. sex yeah, yeah, yeah. panther thing like <laughs> it's illegal in like the seven <laughs> countries so where has pheromone perfumes come from i feel like it's everywhere at the moment so yeah. i think um it started during lockdown when we we're all locked in our homes i think we're probably craving human connection but i think it's also been around for a long time mm. a long long time and is the point of pheromone perfumes to just attract I think so. We all want to be attractive. <laughs> for some love. Yeah, for our, for our natural <laughs> scent. I've kind of taken a couple of different approaches here. So I've gone for, firstly, musk perfumes. So musk is kind of a pheromone kind of vibe. It used to come from animal sources. We used to get it from like musk rats or musk mm. oxes. I think there are as well. We don't get it from them anymore. That's like, that's okay, messed good. up. <laughs> yeah. So we have lots of different sources of musk perfume now. So we have it from things like musk mallow, which is a plant, um, or we might have it from a synthetic musk, which does mean that musks kind of smell quite different these days. Like they've got a lot of different sources, so they're not all going to smell the same. It's something that sits probably halfway between your kind of floral mm. and your kind of ambery notes there. So Julia mm. has a gun, not a perfume. Have you smelled this one before? I have. Okay. Yes. It's a bit iconic at a door yes. say. It's one of our best selling perfumes for sure. Mm. Now, not a perfume is called such because it only has one note in it. It's only got ambroxan, but ambroxan is kind of an artificial or a synthetic musk. So the mm. idea with not a perfume is that it's supposed to smell different on everyone. Some people it smells kind of sweet, some people it smells kind of woody on, some people last for 20 minutes on, some people last for eight hours on. Does that just come down to your like pH? Your natural pH, yes. Yeah, so it'll be whether okay. your kind of your skin is slightly more acidic, whether yeah. it's slightly more basic, whether you're a sweaty gal or whether you're a dry gal. Uh, yes. But I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a spritz on me. Bring it so, on. Oh my god, that's a hard <laughs> That's a this is an old bottle. Ooh. Okay. It was a quite a generous little spray, wasn't it? Really was. it was She's shot. dripping. I feel like it's quite like masculine i'm getting like mm. unisex vibes which i really like i find that this one smells on me like a little bit salty which i don't think is necessarily a bad mm. thing when you think of skin scents i think like sweat's a little bit salty so it's kind of that kind of yes, vibe yes. a little bit um like mineral almost mm. very fresh just wearable just super wearable yeah. like it's not really like offensive or you know it's just like kind of a nice no-brainer yeah definitely fragrance. this is the kind of fragrance where people can't really quite place what you smell like Ooh, we love it that. definitely sits quite close to the skin as well okay so the next one i want to talk about is tay yulong mm-hmm. this is from jojo Armani privé which is their private collection tay yulong has um kind of tea notes at the top tay means tea in french okay um so it's kind of quite green at the top but the base note is ambre ambre is an artificial um musk as well oh it's quite light it is it's really light a bit citrusy maybe mm-hmm. definitely citrus a citrus tiny bit green. of floral like yep. subtle floral like i think this is like the white tea kind of mm, note almost like you know yeah. white tea has that kind of floral flavor to it oh, it's like really comforting yeah. i don't know like how to describe that like like kind of fresh sheet smell right yeah Again, kind of sexy i would definitely yeah. wear that so pretty mm, that's nice the next one i want to talk about is love in white creed creed is one of the like oldest perfume houses it's very bougie very fancy um and this one also has a um amber base definitely got a little bit of that kind of salty vibe to it Ooh. it's a little bit more like marine slash aquatic I Ooh, say. okay kind of like a like an ocean thing but still fresh oh yeah i'm getting ocean because it's a little well. bit florally yeah. but it is I, i'm definitely getting totally. that aquatic like scent coming yeah, through yeah, as well yeah. which is a really interesting combination and it like kind of works yeah yeah but you can see nice. how that would be like just like you just just you right like yeah. no clothes just love and white oh okay so let's go to something that's a little bit more clean sheets vibes okay because i have recently become obsessed with this perfume so much so that okay. i purchased it myself Ooh. and i don't do that because i have a lot of perfume <laughs> um but i was like no okay. i need this in my collection so this Talking is kayali i'm excited now i better get the mini version here but kayali is a perfume brand out of the middle east it's owned by um 
Mona Catan, so Huda Catan's sister, or she runs it rather. Um, and this is Musk 12. So mm. this one is a really, I think, quite a classic musk. It's super duper clean. It smells like fresh sheets, Sunday morning, mm. that kind of vibe, but mm. also very human. I feel like I can't even smell it now because we have so many perfumes <laughs> in this room. Vanilla? Yeah. It's like caramel Yeah. Almost. Not in like a Pete Alexander store caramel. Not like that. Not like that. Which I do like, but I'd like that this is a little bit more subtle. Yeah. You know. And I think kind of along the same vein is Narciso Rodriguez Poudre Eau de Parfum. Um, mm. This one has also kind of got that slightly sweet note. It's very floral, but it's almost like light. It's more like uplifting in a yeah. way. Like I don't really know how to describe that. Velvety jasmine. Ooh. Powdery musk and sensual woods. Oh, sensual. Sensual. <laughs> Oh, I like it. So this one is Muse by Who's Elijah. Ooh. Local brand, Sydney-based, earthy, musky floral is the thing that they have on the thing here, but it's also got solar note. It's got that kind of like alcohol, synthetic note to it, but mm. in a way that is like makes it very feel very fresh and clean. I feel like people like think that synthetics are a bad thing, but in my mind, mm. it's just like if you can do it better with science, why wouldn't you? Yeah, And I, I feel agree. like that's the kind of energy here. It's that kind of like... It's like sexy yeah this feels yeah. like it's like it's like putting on That's an nice. oversized business shirt like yeah i'm a kick out a rom-com and i'm putting on an oh, oversized business shirt after love a that. night in the just, sack yeah literally stumbled yeah. out of bed looking drop dead gorgeous yeah yeah, yeah me, perfect skin, I'd, perfect wake up like this. I'd be curious yeah. to see how these wear on the skin as well and like how that totally. pheromone skin scent thing kind of plays into it and again it it's gonna be totally different, different yeah for sure like if you're someone who runs hot blooded you'll probably often find that your perfumes run out quicker and it's because they're kind of evaporating off your skin oh, more quickly the other thing I heard the other day, and I don't know how legit this is, but okay. I've heard a lot of people talking about the idea that you shouldn't spray your perfumes kind of above your chest. Like you shouldn't really do your neck because okay. it's too close to your head, right? Like that means you're constantly overwhelmed by the scent. If you're spraying it on like, you know, your arms, your, the crooks of your elbow, back mm. of your knees, all that kind of malarkey, it's it's something you're, you're going to be able to enjoy throughout the day. So you're kind of getting what everyone else is getting. The last one is a bit of a wild card as well. Now this one is Goldfields and Banks. It's called Pacific Rock Moss. Ooh. Super popular for them. I reckon it's their like second best selling perfume okay. at the moment. Yeah, I love this brand because they're all about quintessential Australian like mm -hmm. lo like locations. scenes and locations yeah it's really you can really imagine it i feel like absolutely they're really yeah. popular overseas actually because they have that kind of really kind of close australiana title yeah cool now this Love one is that. like pure sea salt and okay. like light wood to me Ooh, in a way that is oh, so divine a little bit of lime at the top there maybe oh that's like isn't it a the, cocktail right like in a good way like a skin cocktail oh i like that yeah it's like every time you smell it you get like a different yep scent so you're getting kind through. of green there you're getting a bit of citrus it's, nice. it's, it's like got the kind that of, citrus like lime yeah, I feel like it's got the like salty notes to it. It's got the kind of kind of aquatic marini notes to it, but at the same time, like kind of skin like, right? Like you're mm -hmm. kind of getting that like yeah, fresh out the ocean. I love that. Yeah. But maybe again, like you could layer that with something that's like a little totally. bit richer to kind oh my God, of have that I feel like these two, yeah, news and Pacific Rock Moss oh, would be like you sexy. get your base, you get your tops. That's love that. That's hot. So in summary, I feel like I want to say pheromone perfumes a little bit gimmicky, maybe mm. a little bit fake, and what you're probably looking for is something that is going to be either uniquely personal to you and works mm -hmm. with your own kind of natural pheromone pH levels, blah, 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 like not a perfume, or you're looking for something that's kind of replicating that musk scent. So you're looking for things like Kayali Musk or Narciso Rodriguez Eau de Parfum Poudre, or you're looking for kind of that salty, um, crunchy, fresh sheet kind of vibe, mm -hmm. like Pacific Rock Moss or Muse. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and learning all about pheromone perfumes with the lovely Liz. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. If you want to check out more videos, keep watching. You can head here.